What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Brandon, and we're on here to give you guys a product review for the Lumen Men's Skincare. It's bombarded me with ads, whether it was on social media, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. Late February, I was running out of one of my face lotions. This is, I have to get it in store. I was like, man, I don't have time to go to the store. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give these guys a try. What did my skincare routine look like before using Lumen? Bar, a bar of soap in the shower, so I would shower myself, and then I'd get that same bar, I'd rinse out for a little bit, and then just you know massage my face with the, with the soap. Two times a week, I would use a, an exfoliator, and that one does a really good job of just taking away all the dead skin and like clearing all the all the junk in my pores that you know, just the soap uh, can't get and then also just removes all the dead skin. So that one, that, that was my skincare routine uh, up until about a month ago and I started using this. A little questionnaire to kind of see what type of skin you have. Um, so you, so just so you guys know, um, I have like, I used to have a lot of acne growing up. So you can even see I have like acne scars um, around my face. But um, I tend to, you know, sit more on the oily skin. It's not excessive. You know, I, I need to pat my, my, my face down all the time. But like if I use products that have a lot of oil in them, like a can of oil, just like shiny as fuck. Also, um, you know, tend to have a little bit more fine lines and like some bags under my eyes. It's really more prominent when I don't sleep. So, you know, they got a questionnaire that lets you know what you can choose from. I got the basic stack, the charcoal cleanser, which is what you see right here, uh, the exfoliating rub, and then the moisturizing balm. I wanted to try the dark circle defense. I ended up not getting it. To be honest, like if you just sleep well, you kind of get rid of the, the dark circles to begin with. Um, that's just my experience. Like when I sleep good, I don't have dark circles. But when I see like shit, that's when I have dark circles. So I think if you're if you're going into a skincare routine thinking that like a certain product is gonna just eliminate that shit away, it, you gotta you gotta have realistic expectations of what that's gonna do for you. So I just know that from the back of my head. Like if I get good sleep, you know my dark circles aren't there. If I get shit sleep, then they're there. So I understand there's some guys who have or the predisposition to dark circles. So maybe it might help for you, maybe that might help you. But in terms of like expecting a product just by applying it for like, I don't know, a month or so for that to kind of solve that problem for me. Eh. Uh, I just didn't buy into that marketing tactic uh, or at least into that message. So I was like, you know what? In terms of, well, let me say this. My expectations for any skincare uh, products, you know, one, I, I need something that's gonna clean my skin, you know, eliminate all the all the gunk that collects during the day. I exercise five days a week. So it, for me, it's really important that, you know, you take out, you know, when I sweat and like I'm in contact and I'm outside and I get shit in my face or on my skin, you just clean it out. Second, uh, with the moisturizing mom, something that's gonna hydrate my skin. Um, that's my expectation. You're gonna give me like a face lotion. I want my skin to, you know, be hydrated and it's not dry, right? And also not looking greasy. Uh, that's a big one for me. And then the exfoliating rub, you know, every, I think it's recommended two to three times a week cleaning my skin. I'm, I'm gonna want something that's going to remove all the, the dead skin from, that the cleanser's not able to get. So that's, so I was just like, hey, I'm gonna go with the basic stack. I'm gonna give it a try. And then if I like, what it does, I'll move on and get the other products. But I'm gonna go ahead and review, you know, how this went. I'm actually practically done um, with my stack. I'm gonna open this up for you so you can see. I got this, you know, 30 days ago. It's pr I could probably have enough for like one more, one more wash, but uh, I'm gonna start with the charcoal cleanser. Uh, so when I got it, uh, it's, it's pretty thick. You gotta apply it with a wet face. So you know you go ahead, apply it to all the areas, rub it in. Um, pros. So after putting it on, uh, it does end up leaving your skin really clean. So that's that's a plus. Like you, you know, it's it's a little tight um, after using it, but you know when you take it off, your skin does feel clean. I have noticed that in order for you to get the maximum benefit of using this product, 
you want to make sure you use enough water foam is the right word but you know it's a little it's a little so it glides and it's a little foamy um and when you have that it tends to clean out your, your pores a lot more i will say this um even when i thoroughly do a thorough job like kind of rubbing it in and you know do it spending like a minute or two just like massaging my skin so it gets everything i still have like some blackheads on my nose it doesn't completely do the job for me for someone who has clearer skin for sure it might it might just do the job for you so the exfoliating rub um this one I actually still have i probably only used uh, to be completely honest with you guys, maybe once, I probably use it once a week, sometimes, as of recently, used it twice, twice a week, but I'm almost done with this one also, I probably have enough for like maybe two more uses. Um, my honest review on this one, pros, um, it looks cool, you know, it's black, you put it on, you're just like, oh shit, like, you know, it's your skin, you know, pretty soft. You, you don't have like the usual tightness that you feel when, I don't know, you maybe use a cleanser or use a, use an exfoliator where your skin's like super tight and kind of dry. In terms of what the intended use is, which is exfoliate your skin to remove dead skin and then get, you know, any remaining gunk that the cleanser couldn't take out from your skin. Um, I would give it you know, like a four out of 10, not good at all, at least for my skin. Um, for some guys, it, it might work for you. The guys who probably have clearer skin, this might be a good a good, uh, good solution for you. But for me, uh, I, I think it's too soft. There wasn't a whole, I didn't feel a whole lot of uh, beads or you know stuff that you normally feel when you exfoliate your skin. It's a little light in terms of an actual exfoliator and what I'm used to. Um, it didn't really remove all the gunk from my skin, including like the tough blackheads that I tend to get around my nose. So I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. I definitely wouldn't pick this up again um, after this trial. I don't think um, in terms of what I'm looking for in an exfoliator, this doesn't really do the, this doesn't really do the trick. Uh, for guys who have clear skin, it might be good for you. But in my experience, uh, no, it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. The moisturizing balm. So this one, um, I got uh, maybe like one or two more uses left. I'm almost done with it. Apply this every time I, you know, I'm done exfoliating or using the cleanser. Uh, when I apply it on my face, um, it leaves it pretty shiny. So it had, it, it gives me personally a greasy look. Um, I tend to use this when I'm going to bed because I wash my, I always shower before I go to bed and I always apply my lotion before I go to bed. So it's not a big issue for me because I'm going to sleep, no one's gonna see my face. But there was one instance where I, you know, took a shower, I was, it was a night out, so um, before quarantine at least, and I took a shower and I put on the moisturizing balm and I left my skin super, oily looking and then I went out and then I went to use the restroom at the restaurant I was at and I was like uh-uh definitely can't wear this out I had to pat my face down and and so I could remove the shininess in case I wanted to like take pictures or something so you know I don't want to necessarily walk around looking like a frying pan so I'm just like hey like I'm not a huge fan of using this during the day um, because it leaves my skin super oily in terms of using it you know like for an everyday type thing, like right before I go to bed, not a bad thing, because no one's seeing my face. So I do wake up with, you know, hydrated skin. So it does what it needs to do there. But in terms of like, a, you know, being compatible with my skin and not giving it a super oily look, I, it does the job in terms of hydrating, but it leaves your skin looking oily. For guys who, you know, have clearer skin and, you know, that's not really an issue. They can just kind of apply anything and they'll be all right, cool. But for myself, I tend to have oil, you know, I, I tend to go to the oily side. Um, so I, ne I need to be, whenever I use certain moisturizers, so I really need to be, you know, aware and cautious of what I put on my face. That's my review on the moisturizing balm. Would I use it again? If I do, it's just at night, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear it out like to start my day or to, you know, let's say I shower before I go out somewhere. Definitely would have put it on 
uh, to go out anywhere just because it leaves your skin looking super shiny. That's my review on the Lumen Starter Pack, which is the Moisturizing Balm, the Charcoal Cleanser, and the Exfoliating Rub. Uh, yes, on the Charcoal Cleanser, uh, kind of on the Moisturizing Balm, only at night, not during the daytime or when I'm going out. Uh, exfoliator, I'm, I'm just gonna have to cut you, bruh. But um, that's, that's, that's my review. Um, if you're looking to give it a try, um, I think this is better suited for, you know, I don't know, guys who, you know, pretty, pretty good skin. Um, and they just need something to, you know, kind of maintain it. But even then, if you have good skin, you're probably not going out and getting something super specialized. So uh, I think out of everything that I've tried so far, the charcoal cleanser is good. I think if you just pick that up by itself, it's like 12 bucks. So it's, it's not horribly expensive. Um, so it could be worth a shot, you know? I don't know if it's better than what you guys are already using, but that's my review. Um, if you're someone that leans more on the oil, on the, you know, kind of oily or sensitive to really greasy um, lotions, I'd go ahead and, you know, stick to what you're already using that's not getting your skin oily or that, um, you know, something that, that's not gonna give you that result. So. There's that. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if it was, you know, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you on the next one.